Hey, thanks for watching Money's with Mike. I appreciate you checking out the link. I hope to help you become all God's created you to be. I want to slow down and talk a little bit today just about life. It seems uh, to me, as I've been looking around lately, that Christendom in general is coming under attack more and more here in America. And, and uh, I don't know if it's so much people are trying to attack it as just walk away from it or push people away from it, and you can call it whatever it is, but the moral fabric of society is moving very far away from Christian values, and it's not... Uh, that difficult to see. And there are a lot of Christians who are like fighting it vehemently. And I understand that some are called to do that. And I understand that, uh, you know, that there has to be someone that stands and, and uh, stakes a claim for righteousness and is willing to do that regardless. I also understand that we're actually called to make disciples, that God is about making disciples far more than he is about political battles and such and forth. And so actually when the church has been persecuted the most throughout the ages is when the disciples were made the best. And so we can either as Christians sit around and look and say, oh man, it's awful. Oh man, it's, it's, it's bad, man, it's bad. And uh, maybe it really is. But we can also sit around and look at Christians and you say, you know what? This is a great time to demonstrate the love of Christ, to demonstrate the message of hope, to demonstrate what making disciples is all about, to just rub shoulders with people who are non-Christians, to get out from my little arenas that I fight the good fight with and, and, and actually rub shoulders with people who are opposed to God or people who don't know God and are moving away from Him just because they don't know Him and someone's leading them in that direction. And just rub shoulders with them. Say you care about them. Say you love them. You Don't, don't show up and say, hey, hey, you're all wrong and I'm all right. Follow me. Just love on them. Just, just do what they did in the Bible. Step out in faith into a lost and dying world and love on people and make disciples. It's then that you'll experience what it means to be led by the Holy Spirit. It's then that you'll experience what it means to be filled with the Holy Spirit. It's then that you will emulate the believers of the Bible instead of the believers of the Bible belt. And I'm one. I'm not knocking them. I'm simply saying we can get so caught up being with other Christians that we smell like a pile of manure. Christians just knowing other Christians kind of smell like a pile of manure and a pile of manure stinks. But when you take that pile of manure and spread it around, they change the name of it to fertilizer and it makes things grow. And so, so often Christians are just, you know, this pile of manure, it's us for no more, shut the door and we don't care if the world's going to hell in a handbasket around us. When in it, reality, we, you know, you can't make any disciples that way. Some flies maybe, but that's it. But no, 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 no. But when you spread out... And when you go spend the time that you would have spent held up in the church, doing church stuff, out in the community, that's when God shows up and begins to use you to spread his aroma, to spread his love, to spread his message, the message of Jesus Christ. And you can do it in the job force. You can do it in the community as you volunteer as a parent, as you volunteer as a coach somewhere, as you volunteer. You can do it. You can do it. You're already out in the world. You're already out. And if you're not, you need to be. You're already out there living. Look around for the opportunity to spread the love of Jesus Christ and literally fulfill the Great Commission in the process by literally making disciples, sharing the message of Jesus Christ that he died because he loved them, taking the punishment for their sins, and that he rose again three days later. And he's offering to them the free gift of a right relationship with his Father, the free gift of forgiveness of sins, the free gift of eternal life, the free gift of real purpose, and the free gift of being able to leave a le real legacy behind. I know this one's a little lengthy. I uh, appreciate you watching to the end. And I really do hope that Money's with Mike helping you become all that God's created you to be. Go make a difference in the world today. I'll see you next week.